am I supposed to start? Oh. Yes. Good, good, good boy, yes. So Tuxedo doesn't know he's a dog. And I thought I would talk a little bit about Fear Factor. It's very hard for me to watch because I'm a school teacher. I, you know, you've done the angry birds. In my youth, you could go out anytime and see the Milky Way. And Tuxedo belongs to three of us, Mark, his daughter, and me, and he has on a summer tux. And he doesn't like it when a camera comes around if he can't be in the picture, do you? No, he's a good boy. Yes, he is. Good, good, good boy. Yes. So Tuxedo doesn't know he's a dog. If you call him a dog, he growls. He doesn't like that. And so he's a part of our family, and if he'll sit here as long as he wants to, and then he'll want to get down. And he is a very good watchdog for me. He knows everybody and who should be outside and who shouldn't be. And we love him very much, don't we? Do you like it? Do you like that? Yeah, you think so? Mm -hmm. And I thought I would talk a little bit about Fear Factor. It's very hard for me to watch because I'm a school teacher and I know sometime, somewhere, one of these shows is going to crack somebody's head open or something. And so it just makes me fear. I'm very fearful. Uh, I know they use uh, editing and different things to make it look scary and all that, but I think it looks really scary. So I can only watch a little bit of those types of things, and I think they may be going just way too far, and pretty soon somebody is going to have to be uh, taken to task for putting these people in such danger. That's what I think. And they, and they do things like they hook them up to a helicopter, and then they have them of dangling around and having things blow up near them and those things. I've, and then the worst though, the very worst, is I don't, it's okay to maybe eat some insects, but when they have to eat live scorpions, scorpions can bite you and make you very sick. So I don't understand that. And one woman ate five and it made me sort of sick, so that's the end of that show for a little while. The thing that I like to talk about that's happening right now. Uh, I think there is something going on and I think it's turning into addiction and I wonder if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you, you know, you've done the Angry Birds. <clears throat> the Angry Birds are a, a, a game that you play on your computer and now a new one's come out. I don't know what it's called. It's on Roco or something like that. Uh, I don't know about all these things, but I do know, I know on t TV the other day there was one man got a new uh, game and was at it for 48 hours straight. So I think there's a lot of people staying up late or cheating in their office. And I've heard all kinds of stories about these things, and I think we have a new addiction, and that's called game playing, and people get absolutely crazy over it. Now, one of these new ones, people are just really, really, really like it. Well, I wanted to tell you about a million. Uh, we live here where we're near a lot of birds, especially in winter. But before I got interested in all this, and Mark started taking pictures and videos, why we didn't pay attention too much to the birds, although it's been my hobby all my life, and I'll tell you how I got into that someday. That's another story. So anyway, we went over to where they said they thought there were some swallows, a large group of swallows is what they said. And I couldn't see, Mark went by himself, and he went by himself two different times, and he would come home and show me. And here, he would put these things on, and the whole page was birds and birds and birds and birds and birds. And finally, if you if you backed up a little bit, you could see these clouds and clouds of tree swallows all over, and you just couldn't believe. And so I went with him once, and I couldn't see that because you only can get it. They only come down just before dark, and once they get down, bang, it's dark. And in fact, Mark was in the cow pasture, and he had a little... Uh, flashlight right <laughs> there. He never would have made it back to the car. And so I went with him, and before that started, when they were gathering, over my head would go these tree swells, tree swells, tree swells, all in sort of a stream. 
and they were coming from one direction. And then, uh, but you couldn't see too well because they only do this. They know, seem to know, uh, the sun had set, and you have that sort of glow. And uh, then you know, but Mark did get three different days of different aspects. And a girl called him. He put it up on his whatever you call it uh, thing on on the computer. And uh, some some girl wrote, and she said. Uh, She's down from Cornell, and evidently they've been down here before because there's other places that have like two million, three million uh, birds that come down here, and I guess they they fly around. They seem to fly around. They just start to go down, and sometimes they come back up. Like maybe there's a hawk down there, or something, and down and then up. But she said they still weren't clear if they were going down into the cattails or if they were going down into the trees. The college girl from Cornell said, that her professor said, he thinks they go down into the cattails. So we don't know. But still, it's, it's, a, it's a great sight to see these millions of birds. And we've all seen a million. Everybody of us, most of us have seen, well, I don't know about lately. But when you look up at the sky, if you ever get outdoors where you're not around light, which is a very difficult thing to do nowadays. In my youth, you could go out any time and see the Milky Way. There it was, all right straight up there in the sky, and uh, then we were taught that it was a galaxy. We're all twirling around in the galaxy, and then there's millions or billions more galaxies in, in a unit, and then there's more units until there's so many we couldn't, there's, it's just impossible to even think about. And uh, so all of us have seen the million. I wonder if any of you have seen actual million dollars, wouldn't that be fun, or a million dollars in gold. That would be a beautiful sight. So a million is not unusual, and we're going to f try to find out more about these birds the best we can. But Mark has to get up, uh, not get up, well, he wants to get up early and see if he can find them go up, but uh, that has almost been impossible so far. And uh, you have to get permission to go on any of these lands and different places, and it's, it's, it's a complicated procedure, but it's awesome. You've heard of that word before. The teenagers all say, oh, it's awesome, but this is really awesome. Now, of course, my son is trying to tell me what to do. It's something about, if you, at, at the end of this, it's a place to su su subscribe and put your name. And then, um, and what else is I going to say? Just tell me. If you like me at all, you're supposed to push the like, L-I-K-E button down here. And if, if I'm one of your favorites, uh, you know, after you watch me, if a few times maybe I'll be one of your favorites. Don't forget down in the comments put what you want me to talk about and also just tell things that you want to talk about which I've already said and also don't forget is there anything else I'm to say? Subscribe. I don't know why and I don't know any of this I'm just sitting in front of a camera blogging away and uh, my son will take care of the rest which is a good deal. But he's still trying to tell me what to do. I don't.